during routine cataract surgery, it is necessary to be ready for any unanticipated events and respond promptly to rescue a situation and have a smooth and uneventful outcome for the patient. In this case of a white cataract with a history of trauma some years ago, the capsule stained nicely, good capsulorexis was obtained, and CHOP uh, segmented the nucleus into several pieces which were readily evacuated. This last piece elevated uh, and inverted but still readily uh, evacuated using nozzle with IP as well as power modulations to reduce uh, the ultrasound energy delivered. All seem secure and then uh, we proceed forward with routine INA of this peripheral remnant which is very adherent and not unanticipated given the advanced nature of the cataract. The subincisional cortex poses a moderate challenge for axis and I've decided here to leave that to alternate means of its evacuation. Just as I'm ready to pull out, oh there it is, a hole in the posterior capsule. Keeping my IA tip in the wound, I stabilize the anterior chamber with viscoelastic material helping to prevent vitreous prolapse or at least reduce its migration forward. Here I'm delineating this hole, placing viscoelastic through the hole into the anterior vitreous cavity. My desire here is to create a continuous posterior capsulorexis. The reason being that if a vitrectomy is performed, it's much better to have a continuous tear that is more resistant to peripheral extension and preserving of the capsular remnant for IOL implantation. An alternate choice would have been to place a single piece of acrylic lens in the bag. However, I'm uncertain as to the timing of when this hole occurred and I am not sure if there is vitreous forward or not, although it appears that the anterior chamber is rather unencumbered with any unwanted material. This posterior capsulorexis proceeds rather routinely at this point. You can see the viscodissection wave that was created of the vitreous anterior hyaloid from the posterior capsule. And then the additional viscoelastic material is used to deepen the anterior chamber. Given the routine performance of um, tissue at this time, I proceeded forward with curetting of the capsular bag and checking the wound. I found indeed no vitreous traction. The eye is actually a little soft and placement of this single piece lens through the temporal wound poses a mild challenge, but is successfully accomplished with the lens placed securely within the confines of the capsular bag. In reviewing the videotape, it's apparent during this section that there's a momentary burst of surge obscured by an elevated uh, nuclear material over the phaco tip. Fortunately, given appropriate action, a prompt and stable recovery was achieved with an excellent outcome.